Yes, sir. All right. So this morning's tech tip is actually geared. Um, I made a little video and a lot of it is geared more towards the parents, but students, um, this is very useful for you too. Um, it's my favorite um, note taking and checklist app. It's called Google Keep. And there's a web version, there's an iOS version, and there is an Android version. So you can do it on your computer. Two seconds later, you could be doing it on your Android or iPhone or iPad or anything like that. All right, so the way to find it is you're going to just type in Google Keep. And then you can load it up there. So this is what it looks like. Obviously this one is blank. So first of all, I'm gonna show you, um, you can copy and paste a link, okay? So I'm going to Growing Great Parents. I right click and copy that text and then I paste it in there. Why would I do this? What if I copied and pasted the link from my iPhone or Android phone and then I want to load up that same link on Google Chrome on my computer? I can transfer it within a few seconds, that same link. Um, now I'm working on my to-do list. Okay, so here I have, I need to do tech support. And now I'm actually gonna add checkboxes. So I click there and say show checkboxes. So, and then, so within tech support, I can actually add some nested labels they're called. Um, phone calls, text, emails. So if you watch here, I'm going to move them all under tech support. You can also use control right bracket indent. So what this does is um, all of these things are listed under tech support. So now I can add other stuff like grading uh, work. By the way, you can use this um, parents, you can create a little checklist for your students or students you can create this like the ELA and I have three things to do. Math, I have three things to do. So as you can see, if I have all of those listed under grading work and I move the grading work one around, everything underneath it will move with it. So you can also tap on the checkbox to make a checklist. I forgot that part. So now I'm working on a shopping list. So I don't know about you parents, but I do this all the time. I have to make a shopping list and I just have an ongoing shopping list right now. So by the way, you can color code, OMG, yes. So I have bananas, flour, ice cream, of course. Why wouldn't I? Um, and then what else did I add to my shopping list? Milk, yes. And I'm gonna get all these things at Trader Joe's because that's where I normally get those, except for usually flour. Anyway, so I'm gonna do the same thing with the nested labels. So I'm gonna indent those. Flour, ice cream, milk. If you look down there, um, there's a little bell in the bottom left side bottom left corner, and you can actually create a reminder, a location-based or time-based. So if I know I'm gonna be at Trader Joe's at you know 10 a.m. this morning, I can have this pop up on my phone at 10 a.m. Now I'm going to Smart and Final, and I added Tillamook cheese because you can't find that at Trader Joe's. Now if I move Smart and Final around, everything that's under it will move around. So this is what I do. I share it with my wife. We can both add to that same shopping list and we can both add, um, check off items on that shopping list. Um, cool thing too, if you have a Google Assistant, like on your phone or a Google Home um, speaker or anything, you can actually add things to your shopping list from there. You can just tell Google to add something to your shopping list. So you can also add images to your shopping list. So I, to your notes, not to your shopping list. You can if you want. Um, so here I have, hey, here's PBS technology use, and I'm gonna color code it red just so it stands out to me. And now it's up there. This is another trick, you can pin a note. And so if you do that, you have all of your other notes, and then you have the one up at the top that's pinned there. You can create labels on the left-hand side, um, so there's just a lot of features within Google Keep. 